Hey guys, this is what I'm talking about. <clears throat> we've jumped ahead a bit. Uh, we've got the bracket installed for the reader head. And the reader head is against the slide. And what they recommend is that you use uh, this plastic shim to slide it underneath the reader as you adjust the space between the reader head and the scale itself. It's about a uh, 20 thousandths or so <clears throat> thick shim that comes with the mounting hardware. Once, uh, once that's uh, established, uh, there's a couple of wipers on either side of the reader head that uh, you can... What I ended up doing was I took the wipers off, set the gap between the reader head and the scale, and then installed the wipers back on again. And uh, that maintained the, uh, the proper spacing between the scale and the, and the pickup. Uh, so you can see how we've gone ahead and mounted that. The reader head assembly bolts on to the top of the mounting bracket. And I've got the proper orientation of the head on the scale, which is uh, important. Uh, we've since uh, gone ahead and put the cover on. And we can take a look at that here in a second. Let me go ahead and pull the camera back. All right, the assembly of the, uh, <clears throat> of the cover that goes over the slide as a protector is uh, pretty nice. It's a beefy piece of bent aluminum. Uh, let me see if I can get you kind of a close-up here. It's got a little Z-band in it, and uh, it's got holes uh, that you can just drill. And with mounting uh, holes in the top of the end of the slides. So I've got a bolt here on this end, and then I've got a bolt clear across the other side of the bridge port there. And that, uh, that holds it in place. So really the only thing you've got to do uh, after you've mounted the, uh, the reader head is get your gap spacing and make sure that you're, uh, you're parallel with the slide uh, both front and back and side to side. Set the gap, lock the head down, and then the cover is really the last thing that you need to, uh, to put on. This is the, uh, obviously this is the x-axis. I'm going to bring the camera around and show you what I did on the y-axis. Uh, because that's more protected, that doesn't have a cover over it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, guys, let's take a look at the Y-axis here. Uh, we're under the uh, the bottom of the table of the bridge port. Let me zoom you in here and what we've got. Basically, what we have is the slide, and we've mounted that for both uh, tilt front and back and came up with a, uh, a good dimension on this. This was a... It's a little more than a 12 inch slide. I forgot exactly what the dimension is. It so the reader has uh, the slides a little bit proud of the reader, both in the uh, in the positive uh, axis and on the way back uh, as well. And I just went ahead just like we did on the x axis, drilled into the side of the cast iron, tapped it, put the bolt in, and uh, ran the indicator to make sure that the slide was level. Uh, this one obviously doesn't have. Uh, any of the tilt problems that the table did uh, earlier, so we don't really have to offset any of it. <clears throat> you can see here the reader head, is, uh, the reader arm is drilled into the uh, the underside of the uh, of the apron here with two screws. I think those are six millimeter, and we've got slots in the arms that are provided with the uh, the DRO. And I've got one angle here bolted to another angle going down here. Whoops, my apologies, guys. Ideally, you could probably just go ahead and truncate the bottom of this off. I haven't gone ahead and done it yet because it doesn't really interfere with anything. So uh, that's one of my to-do things. But uh, the same thing. You want to make sure that the reader head is parallel in both axes. And again, I took the wipers off the ends. I set it with that 20,000 shim stock that you get with the kit and, uh, and locked the head down and then put the wipers uh, back on again. Uh, you can kind of see off the back here. Let me see if I can give you a better shot of this. There you go. You can see both reader heads for the X and Y. The cable's coming off the... Uh, 
off the back here eventually just end up going down the side of the mill and I've got this kind of a vice stand built up and come up to the back side and let me see if I can uh, show you where the digital readout is actually going to sit. I've got uh, both cables coming up from around the back of the uh, of the vice stand here. Got a power cord going up to an 120 outlet up on the wall there. And uh, she's got some power. It's nice. It's got a swing arm that I've got uh, mounted to a piece of wood that's coming off of the vice stand. And then on top of that I've got a light, magnetic light on a steel plate there. Nothing to do with anything else but that's the only other, uh, that's the only thing that's on that post. And uh, that's it. It's a pretty, uh, it's pretty simple. It's out of the way uh, once I'm done using it. Uh, they do come with a plastic cover. I've kind of modified it a bit, little field modification so that I can put this on here and keep any of the, uh, the dust and grime that uh, floats around the shop here off of the display and uh, keep it fresh. And that's about it. Hope you found this useful. Hey folks, there you have it. That's the installation of the DRO Pro ZL400 digital readout on the Bridgeport Mill. Uh, pretty straightforward installation I found. Uh, the instructions were pretty straightforward. I didn't need really any kind of crazy tooling, just some stuff that I had around the shop. Uh, the only thing I really needed to get was the, uh, the metric taps. So uh, that wasn't really a big deal. Luckily enough, I have a tool supplier that's uh, just about 20 minutes away and he had everything I needed. So we're good to go there. <clears throat> uh, I did qualify the, uh, the scales when I finished with some one, two, three blocks and found to be, I uh, found the scales to be right on. So I'm very happy with that. And uh, in the next uh, up and coming videos, we'll be exploring the arc cutting function of the uh, DRO itself as we uh, fabricate a grinding wheel cover for a surface grinder that I just acquired. So uh, look for that video and I hope you guys found this useful. Please uh, click like or subscribe. Any comments would be appreciated. And uh, thanks for joining me. Get down to your shop, have some fun. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.